Is this what? This is the prestigious one you're watching, Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I would like to welcome you to an interview with one of the most interesting wrestlers we have had on the site, the prestigious one, Joe Hendry. Welcome back. Thanks for having me, Alicia. Thank you. Of course. Thanks. I have to say welcome back to Canada. How's your time been since I last saw you? Um, it's been it's been fantastic. I mean, um, just it is good to be back just to you know clear a few things up because I mean obviously uh, you know let's we could we can get into it. We know each other well enough now. You know the the last interview kind of got a little bit out of hand. You know a what I mean? Bit. And um, yeah, I just I I really want to apologize. Um, I appreciate it. I was it. I was in a really. Uh, difficult place you know there's a lot of pressure when you've got the when you're the man you're the champ but I mean I am still those things but just not actually got a belt but um, I think that um, back then it was just like just because I was so focused on the title like I didn't do I wasn't professional you know because if I was professional what I would have done is just I would have just told you to hush up you know and stop kind of insulting me and you know you know I would I would have put you in your place basically for disrespecting me so just I'll be more on point this time if I so if you do disrespect me I'll I'll, I'll just nip it in the bud just just go ahead and nip it you know okay well aside from saying welcome back to Canada I know last night you were here is everything all right with your microphone? Is yeah, it? yeah, just yeah, a lot, lot of branding there, you know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, you, you are wearing your own yeah. your own I'm t-shirt. Get, yeah, well, you've got I, all your stuff over here. I'll just cover I, this. I want them to focus on this. Okay, you can fair enough. See what you're called. Fair enough. Video well, last night you were here at Smash Wrestling, and you went against Tyson Dukes, who you told me you actually wanted to face for quite some time. Absolutely. You did come up a bit short in the match as he retained the Smash Wrestling Championship. No, no, I did but promise. I, d I did promise I would nip it. I would just nip it right in the bud. Is it a, uh, it's I know a fact. What you're trying to do. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to make me look bad. You're trying to tell no. people I lost. All the, you're trying to affect my brand. That's basically taking food off my table. You know what I mean? So, um, yes, I asked to face Tyson because he is, in, in my opinion, um, one of the best wrestlers Absolutely. in the world. And, you know, we went hold for hold. The result not so important it's more the fact the magnitude of it taking place and if you um were a little bit better at your job you'd maybe focus on that rather than you know the the things that don't matter well i did know? hear it was a fantastic things match that don't matter okay well I, I heard it was a great match so you you it was, had that it was a great match. Well, seeing how it went last night, tonight you were going to face FTM. He is an absolute monster, as I'm sure you know. So how are you feeling going into that here at the Opposite um, of Toronto? I'm feeling pretty confident because, um, you know, you face different wrestlers and you have different tactics, different te techniques, you know. Whereas for FTM, I've been, I've been doing my research and I've noticed, I'm impressed by FTM because not only is he the Beast King, but he's also a high-ranking member of the mob. To do those two you things. You really did your research. Yeah, to do those I'm, things. I'm well impressed. To do those things simultaneously. I mean, to hold down a job in the mafia and be the Beast King as well. Where's the free time, you know? Um, so I, I have prepared a little video to discuss okay. the things of these nature. Oh, that wasn't a sentence, was it? Uh, to discuss the it was, things. We got, we got what you wanted we, to we say. We got there. It's a little jet lagged, a little jet lagged. Well, you recently had one of the proudest moments of your career, which was winning the British Senior Championship. No, this is in journalism. Gold. This is journalism. Is it better? You're a little more impressed than I'm, last I'm, time. I'm happy. Okay, I'm it happy. means a lot to hear that. Good, good. You're getting there. You're Thank so, you. so getting there. Thank you. Carry on, carry on. What I wanted to ask was what was running through your mind when you were presented with that gold? Because when you, you said looking back three years ago, you didn't know what would happen. Absolutely. I mean, I started amateur wrestling at 26 years old. I remember having the conversation, uh, people telling me, no, you can't do it at a high level, you know, but they just, they don't understand what it means to be the prestigious one, you know what I mean? When the prestigious one says he's going to do something, he does it. You know, other regular people, normal people can't empathize with that, but they, they don't need to be able to. I just decided I was going to do it. I became the British Amateur Wrestling Champion. It was, you know, I did it my, as a hobby, you know? I mean, if I did it full time, I'd probably be UFC heavyweight champion, you know? Who knows? Well, congratulations. Thanks. You are also looking to do a string of shows in the new year for 2018. Your own shows which have live streams, some live songs, along with Q&A. So when did that kind of spark? Okay, so what happened was um, basically um, I've been doing kind of online content for a while now. Mm -hmm. um, and I just kind of started doing Twitch as like uh, just 
not a hobby, it was something I wanted to get into, but I thought it would just be something to try on the side because I enjoy video games, but I don't feel right about playing them because I feel like it's a waste of time. I'm like, I feel guilty about taking that time. So I figured if I'm twitching, then it's it still counts. a little bit counts. of an excuse yeah, to put this, it towards. it counts as productivity. So I started doing Twitch and my Twitch just blew up. Mm -hmm. um, Twitch offered me a deal, uh, became a Twitch partner. Um, which was amazing. They've been amazing. Um, so built a like, great little community, and you know, obviously, like I do the music, like my entrances. I do the prestige music, the prestigious one, like um, the some of the pay per view music and stuff like that. Um, so I just thought, you know what, we should do a show where we do a live stream, we do a Q and A, we play some songs, have a bit of a laugh. Really small shows. Um, we're going to do them in uh, Edinburgh, Glasgow, Newcastle, Manchester, Cardiff, and London. We're, we're in. Discussions to add other people to the bill that I think will be that will only multiply the excitement. So this has gone from something that was going to be a very small kind of idea, you know, just like little tiny little rooms or whatever. But now with uh, the discussions that are going on just now, I think this could be this could be pretty cool. As far as the live original music goes, you of course were also in Lost in Audio, which we haven't heard. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't want to talk about that just now. I don't want to talk about it. Won't bring it up. Okay. Well, do you That's think? Not, I'll, I'll let you know when I'm ready to showcase that. Sure. Okay? Maybe in every three, four, maybe later down the road. Later down the road. It's okay, painful memories enough. for me. It's painful okay. Memories. Well, do you think we may hear some more original music from you, as far as not not having to do with them, but from? Jim it Hedger. will be. It will be with them, but it's just basically like, look, when, let, let me think, when Shakespeare writes a play. Right? Mm -hmm. Do you think he just goes, oh, everyone, I got this great idea. We're going to have like this Romeo and Juliet kid. They're going to like get together and da da da. Sit down. Yeah, Ambie, I've got this book. It's going to be really cool. You know, let's read an excerpt from the book. No, you, if, it's, if you've written like a seminal work, you want it to be perfect before it goes out. It's not really time. I appreciate you digging into my past like that, okay. but I'm not ready to showcase it. I'll let you know. When, when, when we come back, you'll be the first to know. Okay? okay. Fair enough. I appreciate the exclusivity there, I have to say. I'll talk to two journalists, you and Kenny McIntosh, and that's it. Okay, fair enough. Well, as far as covers go, you've presented some absolutely fantastic ones, but is there anyone you would love to see maybe do their spin on one of your tracks? No. Nobody? That's mine. That's mine. Okay. People have tried before. You know, someone, like in the UK, there's like three other guys trying to do my gimmick just now, and they walk out, and they're like expecting it to be good, and you know what happens? <laughs> that's what happens. Okay. I saw that you recently saw Weezer in Glasgow and seemed very excited about that. How was the gig? Weezer are basically my favorite band. It was that 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 blue album, green album, Pinkerton, Maladroit, the whole No, I'm not going to say the whole back catalog. We both know that. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we 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 both know. We both know. Let's be honest they came here. back in the end. Okay, let, yeah, let's be honest, right? So, you know, Weezer just killing it. Most underrated band in the world. Couple albums which are like <gasps> then we get back on track. Um, they do back to the shack. They talk about they're going to go back to the strap with the lightning strap. And then they do Feels Like Summer. And it's like, no, you, Rivers, you said, you said you were going to go back to the Strat. I can't hear the Strat. Now, cameraman, what the hell are you doing? Don't adjust yourself while I'm speaking, for God's sakes. Oh, cameraman again. You can't get the staff these days, can you? But Mexican Fender is an epic, epic song. Mm -hmm. But what I will say is I'm a little troubled by the subject matter of Mexican Fender. Right? Because I looked into it. When I appreciate... Uh, seminal work if you will not quite say so. he's not my level but you know what i mean he's 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 all right he's all right so i look i look up mexican fender and i look oh he's he's met this girl and it's like oh it's like the summer love summer love he's met the summer love he says it over and over again it's like oh man that's awesome i never thought rivers would find love he's found love and he met her in the guitar shop the salesman is trying to sell her a mexican fender beautiful story hold on who's the girl oh she's got a bf in another band and she's acknowledging it on Twitter, and she's like, I "Oh, I did not know." She's this. like, she's like, Mexican fenders about me, and the guy that she's going out with's gonna be like, "What?" Mm, that's not good. That's 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 like, if you, like, so he just swoops in. So the, you got this local band who are dating, and Rivers just swoops in, <laughs> does his business, and leaves. <laughs> How'd that make you feel? It made me feel upset because Rivers, Rivers is supposed to be like, you know, he doesn't do that. Mm -hmm. You know, he's, he's, uh, he's supposed to be a righteous individual, you know, but just, I, I just thought it was more, I don't know who I was kind of, I don't know who I was more upset with. Her? Him or the, yeah, yeah. She's just like, oh yeah. If you're the other guy in that equation, you're just in tears, man. And you found that she, she sent this out. Like, openly. Yeah. She's oh like, my God. she's like, she's like Mexican Fender. That's horrible. <laughs> 
Not not cool. Not prestigious I, any bit. No. no, it's not prestigious. What was the first concert you ever went to? First concert I ever went to, it was uh, the it was like some MTV Video Awards they had in in Edinburgh, and it was like it was Jane's Addiction, Feeder, and somebody else. Nice. So it was pretty cool. Yeah. Is there anyone you would still really love to see that you have yet to? Anyone left? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Right. I had decided to... Uh, Queens of the Stone Age are my favourite live band, right? Haven't seen them in years. Because, you know, being the prestigious one, I had to put all the non-necessities to the side. So, you know, just couldn't justify spending money on the non-essentials to build the brand. But okay. now, you know, being the prestigious one, I got a little, bit of, a little bit of something on the side. So I decided to, you know, treat myself. And I said, Dad's birthday coming up. I'll get my dad, me and Dad, go and see Queens of the Stone Age. But the tickets, so excited, it's coming up, yeah, Queen's of the And then I forgot, I was flying out on the same day. Oh, no. So, and here's the thing, right? So, I'm on the plane, and I'm stressing, because I find the tickets, right? And I'm like, oh, just send an email. And they're not the tickets, you've got to go and collect them. And by the time I send the email, it's like, it's like 3 a.m. or something. So, right. if he doesn't get this email, he's not getting the tickets. So, I'm like, on, sitting there on the plane, I'm like, stressing, like, did he pick did up, it go the through? Did he yeah. up the tickets? So, I'm like, I can't use my phone, the data, the data. So, I turn it on, I'm like, I'll send one Facebook message, right? And ask my dad, I'm like, Facebook message, nothing. Send my brother, where's dad? Where's dad? And then I'm like, I can't get him. Phone my dad, and he's like, oh, oh, oh like, where's the I'm like, you. Oh, here I am stressing yeah. out you're know, just having a great old time I know and wait for this then I get a little texty poo coming in from 3 Mobile telling me oh are you enjoying Canada Joe you enjoying Canada <laughs> oh well guess what Joe guess what you you like that data that little bit of data you just want to send a little message on, on Facebook no problem we'll give you the data £6 a megabyte a megabyte Ooh, so you got hit with that yeah so if I watch one of the prestigious ones entrances for entertainment it cost me six grand. now I'm prestigious but I don't think anyone's that prestigious. <laughs> I think Bill Gates would be upset if, if he got billed with that. <laughs> well, I have a few things here, and I would love to hear if you think they are prestigious. So I'm going to say right. something, and if you do, you just let me know, all right? Okay, first one, fireworks. Not prestigious. Roller coasters? Prestigious. Cookies? Uh, well, can I just stop you on roller coasters? Go for it. The last, like, three times I've been here, my only goal has been to go to the theme park. And Wonderland? This time, I don't know which one. I just the big theme park. And this time I was like, yeah, I'm going. And I get here and it's like, closed. Yeah. So, fourth, fourth trip lucky. Sorry, carry on. <laughs> All right, for the next one, how about emojis? Ah, uh, not prestigious. You want emotes instead. You can get exclusive prestigious one emotes on twitch.tv okay. forward slash Joe Hendry. There I'm a partner go. now. How about tofu? Never tried it. Okay, so I'm going to say not prestigious because it's not meat. Okay, fair enough. And then for the last one, black lipstick on people. Black lipstick? Yeah. Nah, not prestigious. And I'm going to say why, right? I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to upset a few people. Go for right? it. Okay. Now, I'm going to be careful what I say here. But we have a makeup epidemic these days, right? It's not, so, it's not so bad in Canada, right? Canada, it's, it's, it's subtle. It, it, it emphasizes. But see, back in the UK, it's just like people are painting their faces. People are literally painting their faces. And it's like, do you think that's what guys want? Do you guys want to get like, do you think guys want to like drink paint and get paint all over themselves? No, they don't. They want to see, they want to see your actual face, you know? So no, just cut it. Cut it out. Yeah, tell what you're trying to tell everybody? Yeah. Just be you, man. Just be yourself. I like how you started that off with like, don't really want to say too much. I was about to say, maybe it wouldn't be the first time, so just be open. I, I appreciate you being so honest. I, I don't follow. You, you said that you didn't want to offend anybody and we're going to hold back, so I was going to say maybe it wouldn't be I'm, the... Are you saying I'm weak now? Is that what you're saying? Not weak, by any means. Well, good. I'm glad that you, you realized that. Of course. All right, go on then. Okay, next question. Uh, well, to wrap things up, is there anything you want to leave with your fans who will be viewing? Any parting words since the last time everybody saw Twitch you? Twitch.tv forward slash Joe Hendry is the main thing. I'll, get, I'll give you, I'm going to put you on the spot now. Go on, could you just generate a question? Any question? No. Okay, how about if there's anyone else on the Smash roster that you would like to face, who would that be? Because we are here at Smash Wrestling in Toronto. Incredible talent here. Who would you like to go one-on-one -on -one with? There's so many. Like, um, I am um, quite seriously, um, I want to make Smash basically one of my absolute top priorities. I want Smash to be like, so, excuse me. That's what prestigious ones do. They do not burp in other people's faces. I appreciate it. Yeah. So, um, I want to make Smash like one of my absolute number one priorities. I want it to be basically like my home promotion. Um, so, 
that's why I'm working hard with the entrances and stuff like that. Smash Wrestling gets what I do. They they give me a platform to do what I do. Uh, I love being here, um, and the roster is of the absolute highest quality. Uh, this is where I want to be. I feel it's good to get out of your comfort zone, you know, and I want to challenge myself. That's why I asked for the match last night, and it was one of the, one one of the favorite matches that I've ever had. Could because we just went out there hold for hold, just just there was it, you know. I am very protective of the business, so I, I don't want to go into too many details about you know the the intricacies of the business. But that was a very organic match, and that's the way that I like to wrestle. You know, hold for hold, kind of British style wrestling, and Tyson's amazing in all kind of disciplines. So that was fun doing that. So that was definitely one checked off the list. I think he's underrated. I think he's one of the best in the world. Um, there's so many others. Um, I would say uh, Brent Banks. Mm-hmm. Um, now I'm a little jet lagged, so correct me if I get any names wrong. Here. Of course, because um, you, you know it's the prestigious one that you remember. You know others. You know. You know. Um, I would say um, Kevin Bennett, mm-hmm. just because the I think what we do we could mesh pretty well. Um, I think you know that could be an interesting showdown. Um, I think uh, I think Tarek is phenomenal. Um, I think I don't want to miss anybody out, you know, because they really the, name the whole roster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The you know um, Sebastian himself, you know. Um, God, it, I don't want to wrestle everybody here. You know, I want to wrestle everybody here. Um, this is the thing is, it's like I think with professional wrestling, it's like when you're in a certain scene and you know things are done a certain way and the scene is a certain way it's like you kind of become accustomed to it you become desensitized to it and it's like sometimes when you get out to a new territory like I, I like the idea of what Jericho talks about you know like the the territory is how we went to like you know he was in Canada then Mexico then Japan then to the States like he's probably one of my in, main influences for many many reasons but I like that idea of going from territory to territory and this you know I kind of see the UK is like a pretty hot territory yeah. and this to me I'm treating Canada as an absolute priority as well so that's kind of I'm trying to kind of do that sort of thing um, I think that with you know mixing like the kind of the wrestling and the music and the like twitch and outside endeavors because with with twitch like i do plan to do podcasts and stuff like that so a lot of, like business wise and longevity wise i would say you know we're getting on to a different topic here but i would say i would say jericho is certainly a huge influence for someone like myself and you know i was talking to um mark andrews as well on the tour similar sort of deal he's kind of opened up the door for for you know musicians and absolutely you, yeah. doing both so, things yeah he, he's a big influence so i like the I, I digress. I just, you know, I, I open my mouth, greatness comes out of it. You know, it's just as hard being me sometimes. Well, I'm really happy to hear that, though, because Smash Wrestling is my home. So the fact we're going to be seeing the prestigious one coming back makes me yeah, extremely well, just happy. Don't, don't be overbearing. You know, you can be overbearing. You know what I mean? Like, just asking all your questions and, you know. I am an, an interviewer. I know you're an interviewer, but, you, you know, I mean, just after a certain point, it's like, yeah, we get it. You, know? you, you even asked me for an extra question. I... <laughs> I did say I would nip it. I would just go ahead and nip it in the bud. Okay. And, you know, sorry. it's the... It's, you don't mean sorry, though, do you? I genuinely you, you do. Don't, you, don't, I do. Oh, you don't. You don't. You didn't last time. You don't this time. I've tried to be nice. I've tried to tell you about Mexican Fender. I've tried to educate you about music. You weren't interested. I'm telling That's you. I'm teaching you about wrestling. You're not interested in that. You're just, you're just interested. Ambi, Ambi, Ambi. Ambi, Ambi, Ambi. I'm answering questions. Did I say Ambi You're mouthing Ambi. You're mouthing it to the camera while I'm talking. I can, and it, you know, it's one of those things. Even though you might not be going to the camera, I can, I can see you move like as if you're thinking it while I'm speaking. You're not listening. You're just. With that said, I thought we were I, making progress here. I thought we were too. And yeah. Okay. Well, with that said, I just want to say thank you for joining me again. I do appreciate it. So thank you for your time, Joe. Sorry for her. And uh, to everyone viewing, remember to visit us at amusicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more. We'll see ya. Twitch.tv forward slash Andrew.